two events are said to be independent if the probability of their intersection is equivalent to the product of the two probabilities of each event or multiple events. If you've got probability of A intersect B intersect C, we keep multiplying each of the individual probabilities to find the intersection. The converse is also true, so if you are looking to try to prove two things are independent, you just need to calculate the, in, uh, the intersection and each individual probability, multiply those together to see if each side is equivalent. Um, the term with replacement reflects independent events simply means that if you're running an experiment and you're pulling, a, pulling or selecting a value from a given group and calculating that probability and then putting that back or replacing whatever it is you took out into the main thing and randomizing again, that's independent. So say you're, you're trying to pull a, a card from a deck of cards and you're looking for the probability that you get two aces. So you draw a card from the deck, you record what it is, you put it back in, you draw another card. Could be the same card, that sort of thing. That's with replacement of what it means. Now here are two independent events, A and B. So say you're taking a test and you have two multiple choice questions. Each multiple choice question has four possible choices, A, B, C, D, that sort of thing. So event A is you correctly answer question number one. Event B is you correctly answer question number two. You're randomly guessing these two things should be independent of each other. One doesn't influence the other. Now to calculate the probabilities of each event, probability of A is going to equal 1 out of 4 because there's four possible choices only one of them is correct. Similarly probability B or probability of B will also be 1 fourth. Since these two events are independent we know that the probability of the intersection could also be written as A and B as you noted on the slide is going to equal one-fourth multiplied by one-fourth. Or one over sixteen. Now we can calculate the union of independent events by the additive rule of probability. Recall that the union, the calculations of it, is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus their intersection. Uh, but our intersection in this case is going to be the product of the two which we calculated there. So when they're independent, we multiply each probability together to get the intersection, and only when they're independent. Uh, so we're looking at 4 sixteenths plus 4 sixteenths minus 1 sixteenth is going to be 7 out of 16.